With the return of the BMW IBU World Cup to the French Alps, the four days of competitions in Annecy da Camporna were an exciting crescendo of emotions for the thousands of fans that packed the stadium and the tracks here in Savoy. After a copious snowfall on the training days, women had to cope with rain during the sprint, which made the job much harder on the tracks. Becoming stronger the first win in three years, Anastasia Kuzmina showed once again an incredible form to take the second consecutive win of a season. Shooting clean proved quintessential on a windless range, and eventually the top four all managed to do so. Laura Dalmaia, with a high big number, was the only challenger left to the Slovakian lead but finished more than 30 seconds behind. For the German was still a great day, given the recent half problems, while Vita Semerenko, who finished third, also enjoyed the first World Cup podium since giving birth to her child. The following day, it was the time for the men to taste the French snow, and eventually it was an advantage for the home team. The surprise of the day came by the name of Antonin Guigona, who is strong of two consecutive wins in the IBU Cup the past weekend, shot clean and skied strong to take his first ever World Cup podium. The top two was the expected one, with Martin Foucault finishing runner-up to Johannes Vignespo, who confirmed his top form as well as his love for this venue, where he had captured his first ever World Cup win four years ago. Two exciting pursuits entertained the over 15,000 people that filled the stadium and the tracks on Saturday. On the women's side, a great fight for the podium witness Anastasia Kuzmina losing all of her advantage with three misses in the first prone shooting, so that Laura Dalmaier took the lead. The German missed once in the last range, but when the Slovakian also missed her last shot, she was secure of taking the first win of the season. Behind them, Italian Lisa Vitozzi made the best out of a clean last stop in the range to size the first podium of the season, the second of a young career. In the men's competition that followed, all eyes were set on the remake of the duel between Johannes Vignesbo and Martin Foucault, but the Norwegian was simply perfect on the day, going 20 out of 20. And closing one minute ahead of all the others. Despite missing twice, Foucault still managed to finish in second place, keeping the assault of Anton Shipulin and Alexander Loginov 10 seconds afar. The two Russians sprinted for a podium finish, with Shipulin taking the first top three of the season. The first mass starts of the season closed the program and the competitions of the solo year before the Christmas break. On the women's side, it was a day to remember for Justine Brezat, when Denise Hermann missed three shots in the last inning. While Justine was able to go clean, it was clear that the 21-year-old would finally capture the first victory of her career on the day of her dad's birthday. Behind her, another fairy tale got a happy ending as Irina Kriuko managed to keep Laura Dalmaier behind. The second place meant the first podium for the Belarusians at the very first ever must star she took part in. Things could not go any better for the French fans a few hours later. Martin Foucault executed his plan perfectly and by missing no target throughout the entire mass start and skiing strong until the win was secure, he took the win at home that he had dreamt for long. Despite missing twice in the first shooting, Johannes Vignospo managed to keep his cool and made up the ranks, finishing runner-up in front of a clean and fast shooting Eric Lesser.
After an exciting and emotional first stage, the BMW IBU workup now goes on a short break. Teams will recharge the batteries and come back on the new year with the Biathlon Classic of Oberhof, Ruppolding and Antols.